Is there an easier way to manage your radio fleet? Because traditional programming is expensive and time-consuming. First, you have to gather all the radios from far and wide, wherever they may be. And then you have to program them one at a time. That gets old quick. And then you have to redeploy them to the right people out in the field, wherever they might be. Each software update means an investment of your dollars and time. What if you could realize significant time and money savings? Introducing Radio Management. Radio Management is an exciting new capability integrated into the customer programming software, CPS, that you're already familiar with. Radio Management helps you stay organized by storing all the configurations you use on a central server. This allows your technicians to remotely access the configurations and the server from anywhere within your network. No more having different versions of the configurations on different laptops at different times and in different places. Radio Management helps ensure everyone is working from the same page on the most up-to-date configurations. Unlike traditional methods, where there's an individual code plug for every radio, radio management simplifies the process. Now one configuration can be shared by many radios. Radio management allows you to set up remote programming stations within your network. These programming stations can be in the next cube, across the street, coast to coast, or even around the globe. Whenever a radio is plugged into a programming station, the server is contacted to see if there are any updates for that device. If there are, the updated information is sent to the programming station and the radio is updated accordingly. When the process is complete, the radio can be safely disconnected and returned to service. This helps make sure your radio fleet is always up to date. In addition, Radio management allows you to set up your radio network to program simple changes over the air, completely eliminating the need for physical access to the radios out in the field. Using radio management will reduce downtime, labor, and fuel costs from travel. Look at it this way. How long does it take to program 1,000 radios? Using traditional programming methods, it could take over 100 hours for 1,000 radios. That's over 12 working days of effort. Using radio management can cut that time to just over 10 hours. That's less than one and a half work days, saving 10 staff days of labor. Now that's change we can believe in. Radio management lets you quickly review critical pieces of information like radio IDs and aliases. Best of all, you can edit that information directly without having to open up any code plugs or configurations. Radio management allows you to organize your radios into groups. You can define these groups by location, by function, anything you want to get to a specific collection of radios quickly. In addition, radio management lets you display or hide columns so you are only looking at the information that's important to you. You can reposition columns by simply dragging them to a new location. Columns can also sort information in ascending or descending order with just a click of the mouse. There's also the ability to do freeform searches. Just type in any text and it will find the radios that match that criteria. One of the more powerful features of radio management is the ability to assign one configuration to multiple radios of the same model. Changes to a configuration can then be applied to many radios in a single step. All you have to do is choose Edit Template, which will open up the configuration in a familiar CPS view. Make any changes that you need. In this example, we will be adding a new service talk group to the configuration. When we save it, we can apply that change to a single radio or choose Yes to All, and all the radios that shared that configuration will be moved to the new version automatically.
Not only can you make code plug configuration changes, but radio management helps you get a handle on firmware updates as well. The first benefit is that it's very easy to see which versions of firmware your radios are on. Next, when you choose Upgrade Firmware, you are given a list of the compatible packages for the chosen configuration template that are on your server. In our example, we're renaming the configuration. We can also take it further and add language packs to our radios at this time. Radio Management provides a modified column that highlights what part of a radio's configuration has changed since it was last updated. It's here that you can see at a glance if the code plug, firmware, language packs, voice announcements, or features have been altered and need to be pushed out. Another powerful new feature of radio management is the ability to manage radio feature licenses. It's here that you can review which radios have which features. You can also enable new features for radios directly in radio management. Simply type in an entitlement ID and radio management will contact the Motorola licensing system and present you with a list of features. After choosing a feature, you can now select from a list of available radios you want those features to be applied to. Back in Radio View, you can see by the modified column that new features are slated to be deployed to the selected radios. Now using traditional workflows, each of the steps we've set up in our example, that is code plug changes, firmware updates, adding language packs, and enabling new features would have to be done independently for each step and in series. It's very time consuming. With radio management, we've been able to work ahead, plan and review the changes we want to make ahead of time. When you're ready to deploy those changes, all you have to do is schedule a job. Simply select one or more radios and hit the schedule button. You are then presented with a few simple options. You can give your job a name to make tracking easier, and even set up an optional window of when these changes should be allowed to go out and when they should stop. That's all you have to do from the planning side. Now all you have to do is sit back and watch the progress. Now all that remains is for the radios to be plugged into the device programming stations. The Radio Management Device Programmer application is a small, lightweight Windows application that can be installed on a dedicated machine or any machine in your network. Whenever a device is connected, the server is contacted, and if there are any changes scheduled for that radio, it will be updated accordingly. Even better, a single device programmer can handle up to 16 connected radios simultaneously. Remember, all the hard work that's been done has been done ahead of time. So now all that's required is for radios to be plugged in. That's it. In our example, we did some pretty extreme changes, messing with everything from code plugs, language packs, firmware updates, and even turning on new features. But if all you have are simple code plug changes, you can deploy those over the air, eliminating the need for getting the radios to a programming station entirely. Radio Management by Motorola. It helps you stay organized. It simplifies your workflow. It lets you work ahead. And most importantly, it reduces downtime and saves you time and money.